Yo, 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 guys, what is going on, and welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get hero research vouchers. And if you don't already know, which you should, but the way these are obtained is from ventures. So, if we go here to ventures, you can see that I already got them. Now, the weapon research voucher is unlocked at level 13, and the hero research voucher is unlocked at level 20 so if we go to my resources here you can see that i already have my hero oh this is hero recruitment voucher my bad and weapon research voucher so um yeah this is the first time i've ever got these that's why i called it a hero research voucher because i mean you research the hero but apparently it's recruitment so uh, yeah my bad forgive me on that i didn't really know but anyways, you know, they do the same thing. You unlock a hero from the collection book. So anyways, yeah. The way you get that is from Ventures. And, uh... Yeah, so you're gonna want to hit level 20 to get a hero recruitment voucher. And the way you do that is by completing missions and getting XP. Now, my recommendation... Um, I'm gonna make a whole separate video on how to get Venture XP the fastest. And that's gonna be coming up really soon. But, I'm just going to give you guys some quick little tips. Um, so, what I would do, which I actually didn't know this, but, if you, which may seem really, really stupid, but if you go to your schematics here, and scroll on down, whatever zone you're in, whatever uh, resources or materials you're getting from that venture zone, you can actually craft traps. So, you can upgrade your traps. You can make, like, the spike trap god roll if you want to, and just craft that. So, basically... Um, I'm in, I was in like 58 zones, so that's going to be the, uh, power level 51 trap. And you can actually, see, I didn't have none of these traps upgraded. So you can actually upgrade these traps, like, even my broadsides weren't upgraded, because I already have all these in 130. Cap. Um, but anyways, yeah. <laughs> so you, they were all like level 12, okay, yeah. So, upgrade these to your, um, actual, you know power level inventors and you can actually craft them and use them so basically what that's going to allow you to do is do um ride the lightning and retrieve the data missions a lot easier because you're actually going to be able to make trap tunnels and you know trap it up and you're going to actually be able to solo the mission if needed but you can always put your party on public is what i always do when i queue and that way you can have a chance of getting other players in there with you which most of the time if it is a two times Ventrix, which is what I also want to talk about, then you will always get other players in there because they are going to want to play the two times. So basically what that does, you're going to get the 4,700 Ventrix XP for completing the mission, and you're always going to want to make sure you get those one-time rewards, the uh, storm alerts, and then after that, you're going to get the four times schematic XP, gold, and two times Venture XP. So that's basically just going to, uh, whatever Venture XP you get from actually doing the mission, like however much you do in the mission, it's just going to multiply that by itself. And then you get get two times that. So yeah, um, really, really good. And you should probably get around like, I'm guessing like, maybe nine to ten thousand venture XP from this mission if you did it correctly. Um, so yeah. But see here, my I have level seventy zones unlocked. So pro tip, you're always gonna want to do the um, the uh, missions that have two times venture XP and the storm alert first. Okay, that's the number one tip. To get venture xp but after that you um my tip for ventures is and a lot of other pros say this too do not go a zone under two zones your level so basically red and orange is what you're going to want to do the greens are not even worth it unless you have another quest for venture xp like save survivors and you've already done all these other quests and say you need to save survi rescue survivors but you don't have any I mean, well, that doesn't make sense because there's one right here. But let's just say that's not here because <laughs> I didn't even see it. Let's just say that's not here and you need to save rescue survivors. See, that's going to give you a good bit of venture XP, but not as much as these would. So, what that means is it's really not even worth it unless you're going to get venture XP from saving these survivors. But most of the time when you already have these unlocked, you are not going to have a quest this low in 46s if you need... Um, if you're in like a 70 zone or a 108, anything like that, 82. So basically, what I'm saying is do not do any of the green missions because at the end of the day, they're just not worth the time. 
when you could just grind all these missions first and if you do all these missions i would recommend just waiting till the zones refresh but if you really like are like one of those no life speed runners and want to you know complete ventures in a day sure go ahead and do all the green ones that's on you i'm just recommending what i would do and that is the red and orange ones first and a lot of pros also say don't go too under your power level so yeah my power level is like the 70 right now my max so i would do you always want to uh, also another pro tip always do your max power level that's like what you want to focus on is the maximum efficiency for venture xp as you can see here this one's 4700 and this one's 6900 so that's going to be you know basically you know a good bit more i was going to say doubled but not doubled but you know like i would say like more, like a quarter more um so yeah basically that adds up over time and you're going to want to do the max ones so yeah remember do the max ones do the two times the uh ones that give you two times venture xp and do not go too under your power level that's my tips for getting venture xp just want to throw that in here and yes guys you get the hero uh hero recruitment voucher at um level 20 in ventures so if you guys are lower than that go ahead and grind also if you want to get the weapon research voucher that's level 13 and the core reperk is like seven i want to say 17 i can't really remember but anyways i hope this video helped you out make sure to like comment and subscribe and yeah i'm gonna be making a lot more save the world videos here so if you guys want to see those and check out all the other save the world videos i've made i have some pretty good ones i'd say so if you guys want to check those out please feel free to make sure to um turn on the bell as well when you subscribe